Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you guys doing? Oh my God, do I look darker? I feel like, hold on, kiss my body. Look how dark my body. It's not, it's not even showing because of the cameras, like you guys can't see. So today I thought I'd do a little chit chat, trying new products, get ready with me. So if you guys want to see what's going on and what's new in my makeup drawers, keep on watching. <laughs> Okay, so um, I'm not sure what foundation to go for because I've definitely gone darker. I did it in the sun, guys, and I'm peeling. I am peeling. So I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. Um, I haven't used this a lot on my channel, I don't think, but I'm using the shade in Nutmeg. I'm sure this is gonna be a bit too red for me. Have I got a foundation brush? Have I got one? Mm, let me just make up for everyone. I'm, I'm sure it's gonna be too light for me. I think it'll be fine. Has everyone been anyway? Has everyone been okay? I'm not sure what's up with me recently. I feel okay, but again, I don't feel 100%, but you know what's going on with the news? I just kind of feel like when I came up of holiday, I was in such a good mood, and, and then I woke up to all this news that's going on in America with the um, shooting, and I feel like we've kind of just gone back in time to what happened at the start of lockdown with George Floyd and everything. I just feel like, what is going on? Do you know what I mean? Oh, this interest moisturizer is really nice. Obviously, I've got this t-shirt on. Obviously, Aaliyah, it's the anniversary of her death, which is so sad. I can't believe it's been like 19 years. So I got this t-shirt from this brand called Offbeat Tees. I'll leave the description or the link to this t-shirt down below. I don't think they do it all the time though, but it's such, so cute. So I thought I'd just wear it because I'm gonna can't breathe. Okay, and what do you want me to do about that? Obviously, it's Aaliyah's, you know, anniversary, and I loved Aaliyah so much. I thought she was so talented, and I just thought, you know, why not work for the video? This tinted moisturizer is actually so, so nice. I'm really annoyed at this, like, breakout, though. Like, I woke up with it a few days ago. I'm just like, what the hell is going on here? Ooh, ciao. Sip and slay this week. <laughs> Sip and slay this week is going to be so freaking juicy. Like, so many stories are broken, and I feel like I really wanted to do Sip and slay last Friday, but guys... The energy just wasn't there. Pat McGrath concealer, by the way. And I feel like I didn't want to do it like if it wasn't 100%, but guys, my holiday was amazing. As you can see by the vlog, it was so good, but I was such a bad vlogger on holiday. Even though I didn't get a lot of the things we did, a lot of the times it was really hard to film because, you know, YouTube be copywriting a bitch. A lot of the times it would have just been scenes with like music over the top because I didn't realize, but in Greece, there's literally music everywhere, like music and lyrics and me and my friend kept shazamming stuff and obviously, you know, and obviously a good way to see if the music is copyrighted is to, is to shazam it and obviously everything was shazamable so I just thought, oh, this is so annoying. So I'm just going to highlight again using MD22 by Pat McGrath. I'm just going to, I'm not going to put on too much, I, should, I actually need concealer because I feel like I feel tired, I look a mess, but I'm really excited. I've got this, some of the new... Fenty stuff, some of the four stuff. Um, I've literally just been in bed for the past few days, watching a lot of people's videos. I watched Aaliyah Jet, who, 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 Aaliyah's face. If you guys know any amazing vloggers or really funny people, definitely leave them down in the description bar below. I love finding new people and watching new people, but I feel like I was just re-watching a lot of people's videos because I couldn't find anyone. The YouTube algorithm would really be mad. The scandals that have been going on this week is I really want to talk about it now, but I'm going to wait to sip and slay. I just feel like, what the hell is going on in the world? Not only in America, but in the UK also, guys. Imagine if it's just going on. Like, can we just speak about the whole... I'm going to leave for sip and slay. We want to speak about it, but I'm going to leave for sip and slay. I'm going to leave for sip and slay. But um, I really... I was, oh, child. Like, I thought like the world's ending, guys, because there is a madness. 2020 has just been the most maddest year ever. I'm just gonna blend that out. I'm just gonna keep it in the center. I really love these Pat McGrath concealers, as you guys know I spoke about before. I, I, those are the only concealers I bought on holiday, to be fair. And to be honest, I didn't wear a lot of makeup on holiday. Like, it just felt so good to like actually just let in the sun. I only wore it when I went, like, went out at night, but you know. <laughs> I'm just gonna contour using, I don't, feel, I, I don't feel I've used this on my channel, have I? It's the You Are Om Omer Beauty. Um, what is this called? Sculpt double take sculpt and strobe duo stick. I bought this on holiday and it's just so easy to use. I feel like this doesn't dry down. It's very easy to oh, this blemish is why is it even here? Like I just feel like oh I hate getting spots. Like I'm not sure why I was getting to be honest. I was mm, was I eating mad on holiday. I was drinking more than normal, but I think recently my diet has kind of gone out the window since I went on holiday, but I wasn't eating unhealthy, but it's when I got back home, I haven't really been too bothered to cook. So 
I think that's been the only issue. This contour's cute, it's really easy to blend out. I'm gonna take a Juno sponge again, but should I take a Juno sponge? Yeah. Just blend that out. It's super easy. I find that sometimes with concealers, especially the dark ones, that can be too pigmented. But as you can see with this, this blends into the skin really, really easily. I can set this concealer. I'm gonna use the makeup for about I think this is for I'm not sure what number it is, I think it's 403, but I'm gonna use a Smashbox angled powder brush just to set this. I've been loving this makeup for a powder. You guys know it's a ride or die. Set the center, set the forehead and the chin. Like, I just love putting a lighter base on that. I feel like I used to love a full coverage base so much. But I just feel like, you know, when you add a full coverage base and concealer and everything, it just gets a bit much. And I feel like the older I got, I just feel like I'm really just loving a kind of like light to medium base at the moment. I still love full coverage, but I think that's just a time and a place. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so before I set the contour, I'm going with more powder. This is a new powder by Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I actually watched my girl Miss Sid's review on this and it looked really, really good. I actually watched it when I was on holiday. This is in number four. This is a brand new powder. Um, obviously, this is her dark, <laughs> a new shade called Deep and it actually doesn't look that deep, but with these powders, I swear down, you actually don't need them to be that pigmented just because they're more of like finishing powders and not like pigmented powders. But I've got, I think I've got all of them. I've got, actually, I haven't got number one. I've only got two three and four so I'm, I'm gonna go in with this brush this milk one let's see what this is like i swatched it but i didn't use it on the face Ooh, i've actually never used remember i told you i bought the bronzer number three to use but with the bronzer because it was a bit warm i could see it on the face but this is just perfect i'm literally just setting the face before i apply my bronzer but ooh, i really like this shade i get why people go crazy over it now because it actually does make the skin Super airbrushed. Oh no, diff this is definitely going in my everyday makeup drawer. Okay, so the bronzer. I think I'm gonna go in with the Gucci bronzer. This is the only bronzer I bought on holiday. I really like this one. This is in the shade number five. They definitely need more shades, but obviously you don't have to use this one. You can go in with what's that bronzer called again? Oh, Supreme by Morphe. I feel like there's so much selection for deeper skin tones now for bronzers. I just feel like last year that then actually last year there was some bronzers about but i just feel like this year has really been the shade of bronzers but this is cute okay so i've literally just set my under eyes with a bit of huda beauty blondie but i'm gonna go with the same gucci bronzer number five but put some in just a crease or so i've been doing this so when i do eyeshadow everything's kind of like you know how's the word synchronized you know meshed in when there's a bit of bronzer that's already on your face so it's just gonna blend this out using a Kit Stars brush. These brushes are so good. Okay, so now it's time to use one of the new Fenty shadows. I actually had a green one, but I didn't feel like doing like a green look. This is called Snap Shadow in Nine Number Wine. I'll show you what it looks like. This is it here. So, so cute. It's kind of like warm, giving me four vibes. I'm not sure what look I'm gonna do with it. This brown looks a tiny bit on the cool side. Um, I kind of wish it was kind of, like warm like a bit more warm let me see if i can find a brush so okay i love these because i've got mirrors in there so let's try this what's this shade called she bubbly it's a bit light i won't lie but now put it on i'm gonna put it on the other side because i wish that the brownness was like a bit more darker i just feel like sometimes in these kind of small quads like they have the colors go a bit too jumpy and i feel like with this part i definitely have to use something else something else i didn't expect it to be so light okay um i don't want to really go in with the purple straight away though Ooh. okay because i'm going to use a dominique cosmetics um liquid shadow after i'm going to come with her latte 2 palette i actually received this from um glow recipe because i sent their new pumpkin is it pumpkin or papaya enzyme cleanser? I'm gonna use this shade called Caffeine. So, so pretty. This is the first time we're using her palette. Ooh, let me try this color out. Such a nice color. Like, it's, what's it? it's called Latte. I haven't tried any other eyeshadows to be honest, but this palette seems so pretty. Ooh, yeah, that's what I need. This is definitely, I'm just gonna press that in. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the purple in this palette. This is called Pino, P Pino Please, like the wine. Oh, I get it, like a wine color. I'm gonna go into that. Ah, oh, guys, I, I need to move out in like a few months. Well, I wanna move out in a few months. And I'm thinking, I've actually been thinking, should I move back to Birmingham? Like, I'm not too sure, like, 
I just feel like if there's another lockdown, I'd rather be at home than here. Like, I don't know. I feel like, cause my birthday's coming up again, which is like, it's almost end of the year, which is crazy. And I just feel like, oh, imagine that if another lockdown happens in London, I'm not sure what will happen because uh, it'll just be so scary, but I'm, it's just, so, we live in such uncertain times at the moment. It's just like, I don't know. I just feel like it's actually really, really, ooh. This purple kind of took this look to a whole another level. Mm, I really should have planned this out, but it's fine. But um, yeah, I'm just not sure what to do, but I'm gonna start looking for places. But if not, I might just move back home for a while, like until I'm sh like, I know what I really want to do. But at this point in time, I'm like, mm, I'm not really sure what I really want to do. But actually this purple is nice. But again, it's kind of, cause it's like a blacky kind of purple. It's not like a purple purple, it's kind of, Definitely taking the look to another level, but it's actually really, really nice. I like Fenty shadows. I know a lot of people said they found trouble like blending them, but I don't, child, they're cute. Okay, so time for a new product. This is by Christian Dominique, and these are, what are these called? I love the slogan, it goes, it goes be your own kind of beautiful. And these are our new liquid shadows. How pretty is this? Like so, so stunning. I love her so much. All her products seem amazing. I, I still use her hydrating primer and her spray. And this is in the shade Pretty Wild. I actually love the name because this color is crazy. It looks like bronze, green, brown. So let's see, I'm not even sure. I haven't used a liquid shadow for ages, so. Let me, let me just put it straight on my eye because child, can you guys see that? But I feel like a lot of people are actually bringing out liquid shadows. I'm not sure what shape I want to do. Do I want to cut the crease? Oh, oh, I'm not sure what shape. Oh my God, I don't, uh, oh. It's so sick. This looks super nice. I kind of just use it to carve out the crease, to create kind of a cut crease. It looks so wet. It looks, I don't think the camera's picking it up, but it's definitely like, a greeny bronzy kind of vibe like i'm actually loving it i'm literally gonna complete the upper eye but i actually love it, it doesn't feel uncomfortable either it's, it feels quite cooling so guys i put some liner on and i kind of i was trying to smoke at the bottom with the purple but it just wasn't looking right like i just felt like i needed something a bit more neutral so i'm actually gonna put lashes on and just put a bit of bronze underneath i'm using my own lashes in a bad and bougie i'm just gonna cut some half and then i'm gonna use some of the half lashes on the corners i actually had the new charlotte tilbury pillow pull up lashes mascara to use but i just felt with this kind of look you probably wouldn't be able to see because my lashes are hella small so i'm definitely going to use this in another video a one that's more natural just so i can really see that length for this mascara because i just feel like there's no point using it with a bold look you know what i mean it's just like mm, i feel like i definitely want to use it in a different video so i'm going to put these on lashes are run it's crazy how much it literally just lifts your um eyes up it's kind of i just put hard lashes on there i actually cut this one a bit shorter but we move so i'm actually going to use this jouet shampoo and macaroons um blush palette it's so pretty i'm gonna use i think i'm gonna mix these two these actually this one's a bit shimmery but it's fine i'm just gonna mix both of them and put them on the cheeks i've been really loving a blush i wore a lot when i was on holiday actually just like especially the fenty cream one by itself on the cheeks it really just gives your skin that nice glow i actually thought i had more new products than i was like mentioning in the video but maybe not i do have a lot of new products but i really wanted to use the ones that i had but it just didn't work out i feel like when you don't really plan a look it always doesn't really go to plan so that's cute it's cute like this eye I feel like, because Christian Dominic has a few ones, I should have got the bronzy one. This one's cute as well, but because I used a light base, I was expecting like more of a, like a light kind of like, you know, bronzy kind of moment look, but you know, it still looks cute though. So I'm going to use this Huda Beauty highlight. This is in Nymph. Guys, this highlighter is so big. I just need like some shine. So, oh, it has any inner corner highlight, but hmm, I could use this actually. Let me put some of this on. Guys, I feel so crazy. I just feel like, all over the place, I'm not sure what it is. Maybe because I haven't filmed for a while or because I'm out of my mojo, but I feel like I was in a routine, but I think that's what, that's what's it. Like I've come up holiday and I'm, I'm, it's really hard for me to get back in a routine. I'm just, oh, child, oh, you know what? But it'll, it'll get better. Who is gonna watch Brandy versus Monica? We need to speak about this on Friday because this is, ooh, this is going to be, so epic i'm literally so excited guys like it's just gonna be history because like these guys haven't performed together for ages and i feel like it's gonna be the best verses yet but we're gonna speak about that on friday if you guys have any, have any more topics for me to talk about definitely leave them in the comments 
down below. I added some beauty marks using my melt to spliff liner. Love this so much. It's still sold out in the UK. It's not available on Beauty Bay, but guys, just turn your notifications on. I'm gonna use some of chestnut liner. This is the Tiana Taylor one. Get the normal one if you want, but this one just looks cute. I was actually gonna use the brand new Fenty underdog one, but yeah, it's definitely gonna be too dark. It's gonna be too purple for child what the hell was i did guys i was so all over the place and i'm so sorry i might go for some like gloss yet just the new pat mcgrath nude venus should i try this why not so nice i've used this before but i didn't use it for liner but it's really nice with a liner by itself it looks a bit crazy on me but and it's super moisturizing what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below okay so guys this is the finished look what do you guys think? Um, I really love Christian's Dominique Liquid Shadow. It's so, so bomb. Like, every time I look in the mirror, I'm like, ooh. It's actually, like, shifting it as I change colour. Um, I love the La Mercier base. It, it's crazy because every time I've been wearing full, full bases, yeah, they've been going in my forehead lines, which I need to get Botox for. And this doesn't go in my Botox line, so I'm really, really loving this. Lashes, obviously mine, they're cute. Um, concealer, Pat McGrath, you guys know, I did my top video on concealers. Pat McGrath concealer, you need it, period. And um, her new, what are these called? These are called the Pat McGrath Lip Fetish Div Div Lip Shine. Girl, I don't know what it's called, but these full so not so nice <laughs> oh my god huh. so cute so guys i'm really sorry this tutorial is all over the place i'm just literally getting myself back in i don't feel 100 percent yet but hopefully i'll feel 100 percent by friday because sip and slay we need to speak about the person who's going out of a black guy we need to speak about monica and brandy we need to speak about just so much stuff i love you guys so much i'll see you on friday and thank you so much for watching this look